Well, welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra, broadcasting live from Los Angeles. And um, one of our participants asked me to talk about fear. It's some things that basically built in in our nervous system, and it's a part of our makeup fear and then we're not the only one uh, only species who experiences fear other species they they experience fear too uh but there is levels of fear and fear is a natural thing and it's not really a bad thing uh and uh it's a part of our makeup that we experience fear. And, and a lot of times that experiencing fear is uh, a necessity because it's going to help to preserve the mechanism, the unit, the person, uh, or the species, whatever it is. It's a dog, it's a cat, it's a deer, it's a whatever it is. And from uh, being eaten or being killed or being damaged or attacked, or uh, it's for the preservation of the species. Well, right now we're basically interested in human beings and ourselves. So this is, so I'll just stick to that one. Uh, so if somebody runs up to me right now with a knife in their hand, and what, and appears that they're going to stab me naturally, um, my heartbeat will go up and I start uh, experiencing adrenaline in my body and reacting to it and fear appears. Um, the fear of getting stopped, fear of trying to preserve yourself or defend yourself, or uh, you're walking in a dark alley at night uh, and uh, there's someone behind you or somebody appears in front of you, uh, you get afraid. Or if you're lost somewhere in the middle of the night, you're driving and you're lost or many, many different scenarios. You're in a metro or whatever. Whatever is the case, uh, fear appears. Now, that's one kind of fear that you experience in regards to preserving your body, preserving yourself from being murdered or damaged or raped or killed or whatever, whatever is the scenario. And there is also, but that's a different story that uh, in regards, I think when Hilda mentioned fear, uh, I, I believe it's more than living in fear. So a lot of people on this planet, I would say a very big uh, portion of the population of the planet, they live in fear. Living in fear is a different story than being afraid, getting afraid because you're threatened or something has happened or someone's threatening your family or or you, but a lot of people are living in fear and that's a different scenario. So fear is really not a bad thing, but if you're living in fear, then that's, that's different. Now, you could be living in a uh, surrounding or living in a country with the government that it's, um, creating fear all the time. You you have no security. You don't know what's going to happen. Um, they may just barge into your home in the middle of the night and execute you or imprison or prison you. Um, you know, it happens it ha all over the world. Uh, it could be a scenario that you're afraid you lose your retirement money um, or you're afraid of the future. What's going to happen to me financially? What's going to happen to planet Earth? What's going to happen to the environment? 
for my how are my kids going to be living uh what's going to happen 10 years from now to the planet is it going to be the temperature of it is going to go up are we going to lose our resources uh we're going to run out of good water or we're going uh the ozone is going to have a big hole in it um there's so many different scenarios and it's the nature of the mind to project into the future and and projecting fear projecting into things that it cannot understand uh, cannot go there and what the mind does is using a past experience or whatever it knows from the past and project it into the future it creates stuff like what's going to happen to me what's going to it's always when the mind comes and now we're talking about I'm not talking about that if at one moment something happen and your life is threatened or your car goes down the hill or and it's rolling down the hill or you're almost caught in in the currents in the ocean and you're about to be drowned i'm not talking about that kind of fear well we can talk about that later but what i think and feel like a lot of people are dealing with is that the fear of future basically the fear of the future because the fear in the present moment it's instant so something can happen and triggers your nervous system and you you experience fear in the moment and then half an hour after an hour after the fear is gone the nervous system calms down and well you know maybe you go have a glass of wine maybe you go smoke a cigarette maybe you go for a walk for a run or drive or whatever it is or eat some ice cream and you calm down and your nervous system calms down but the fear we're talking about is basically the fear of the unknown fear of not knowing what's going to happen in the future and this idea of what is going to happen in the future is basically it's related to me to the i to the i thought and the i thought i is the person who has this sense of separation so basically when we're talking about fear it's basically we're talking about me you're talking about you your existence or what's going to happen to me that's where it stems from that's where it's foundation that's where it's coming from and then you may say well i'm really worried and concerned about my children and i'm concerned about what's going to happen to planet earth yes and that's a concern a lot of people have in regards to uh their children family country environment animals vegetation uh the future of human race and that's very noble but that's not what we are really uh when you go deeper within ourselves and you really take a look at it it always going to be me 